Holy crap, am I hyped for this. Well, I have to go with Raphael. I mean, why not? He is absolutely one of my favorite. So what now, fearless leader? Holy shit, is that the actual voice from the show? That's awesome. What is that guy typing on? Absolutely nothing. Gotta love the hustle, though. He's, he's at least trying to fake it till he makes it. That's good. Okay, everybody. So, I have to give my review on this game because... I've been waiting for this for a long time. Ever since it was announced, I have been hyped for this. And I am by no means disappointed. If you're looking for a classic Ninja Turtles game where it feels not only like the classic arcade coin-op style, but reminds you of all the great times you had playing on the NES, the Super NES, then look no further than this game because you will not be disappointed. It is very much worth the price point on it. Um, I want to get into some pros and cons real quick here. Pros, of course, like I said, classic Ninja Turtles is back. The intro gave me goosebumps. The music is awesome. Um, I really wish it was the classic original theme. It's a different one. I don't know if that's from another cartoon or something like that, but whatever. Who gives a shit? At this point, you know, that's a minor nitpick. The voice actors from the show are back. Um, I think a lot of them reprise their roles for this, which is phenomenal. That's so cool. There's a huge variety of enemies from the show. Um, and I'm talking the, the show from the late 80s. Like, if you loved that show growing up, especially me, I'm an older gamer. I grew up with like everything Ninja Turtles. I was obsessed with Ninja Turtles when I was a kid. And if that's the case, then this will be like opening up your toy box and playing all over again. It was so much worth it. Um, so very much worth it. The Like I said, the music in this is phenomenal. It's very much worth playing with the music on. Uh, for this recording, I turned the music down a little bit. Um, mostly because I didn't want to get copyright claimed. But mostly so I could just kind of focus on my voice and the action and stuff like that. But it is very much a nostalgia trip from start to finish. Um, there's a lot of Easter eggs hidden in this. There's a lot of, in story mode, there's a lot of stuff to unlock and to kind of find and stuff like that. You'll see a lot of things that you recognize, especially if you've been a longtime fan of Ninja Turtles. Um, there is a huge cast of villains with this, which makes it even more fun. Um, I mean, a lot of it fe feels like it's kind of repeated from previous games, but there are some new uh, additions in there that kind of, you know, surprised me a bit. Um, so, I mean, it's very much worth the playthrough. I'm not going to spoil it for you here, but there is a lot of really cool villains in this. Also, the biggest selling point for me with this game was the fact that not only are you able to play as the four core turtles you are able to play as Casey Jones, April O'Neil, and Master Splinter. Each one of them has their own set of strengths and weaknesses. Every turtle has their own set of strengths and weaknesses. Um, so far of what I've played I think Leonardo fighting style wise was probably my favorite one to play with. I had to start the game with Raphael because he's my favorite Ninja Turtle and because I picked him all the time whenever I played this in the arcade. But that's neither here nor there. The only downside I can see to this is maybe the playability or the replayability to this. I mean, definitely it is worth multiple playthroughs with multiple different characters. In the story mode, you can kind of build them up and level them up and things like that. Um, there's a classic arcade mode, which I love uh, because if you just want to get into it and play a classic game like you did with Turtles in Time or with the coin-op game. There you go. I mean, that's that's all you really need. That's all I needed to know. Um, I didn't know there was going to be a story mode with it, so that was my main selling player right there. It was the arcade mode. The other thing that surprises me about this game, which is phenomenally cool, is that you can play with up to six characters, or with up to six players at a time, right? Now, that's not just online. 
you can do this with couch co-op as well, which I love because not many games do couch co-op anymore. And you're all on the same screen at the same time, and that part of it, my god, that brings me back to my childhood. I love that. So definitely go check it out. It is very much worth a playthrough. It is very much worth buying it. Don't wait for it to come out on PS Plus. Buy it now. Play it now. It's awesome. You'll love it. I guarantee it. Five out of five stars. This is one of the coolest games to come out in years. And I'm so happy. So happy that it's here. So thank you all for watching this. Uh, go check it out and let me know what you think down in the comments.